Right, welcome back to another Jeep video, guys. And today we're gonna to be fitting the lift kit. It's finally arrived. We had a few complications with getting it here. That's why it's, uh, there's a delay on the video. It was coming from America and obviously with everything COVID related, it took a while to get here, but it's here now. Before I get around to fitting the lift kit, I'm gonna show you what other mods we've done to get this off-road ready. So let's get straight into them. Right, so as you can see, we've got the winch fitted on here and it's pr fitting pretty nicely. Um, this bumper that we fitted onto the car, it basically had a perfect slot for the winch to go in and we've got a nice hook on it. So this is a four and a half or five ton winch and we've got the controller here. And basically when we plug that in, you can just use the buttons here to get the uh, winch pulling in and out so we can wrap it around a tree and get us out of the dirt. So we've got the snorkel connected as you can see here and through the back here, if it will focus, we've had to cut through three sheets of metal to get this plastic bit through here and that will eventually connect up to the bottom of the airbox here and that's situated down there. Why don't you give the people what they want Paddy? <laughs> oh, what's that? Get it! No, let's get it! He's posing. Come here, come here. He's a good girl. To join it all up we have this piece, coupling, joiner, whatever you want to call it. Basically that will just slot in to the plastic tube in there the flat end of this will go onto the ins uh, the outside of the bottom of the airbox just like that and then that'll create an airflow in case it's all watered down in there that'll create an airflow from the outside it's definitely going to make the car look a lot better and more like an off-roader So we got the pipe all fitted on there correctly, joined up with a Jubilee clip and the box is fitting on here as, as it is standard and now we just got to put the filter back on, the top back on and yeah the snorkel will be fitted fully. Nice. So we're just fitting up the top end of the snorkel here and as you can see it's quite loose when you get up here so we don't want that rattling so what we're going to do we've taken off the trim from the edge of the door here and we're going to connect up using a bracket and then we'll have a nice sturdy snorkel instead of it bouncing about on the on the off -road. right so we've got our lift kit here ready to go onto the jeep now over here on the right we've got our shocks and our boot covers and they're obviously a lot more expended to go on the back and also the springs will be going on the back too now the only thing that we've got going on the front to extend it is actually these spacers we've got some bump stops too just in case we want to put bigger wheels onto the jeep and to stop them from hitting the arches so let's get straight to it and fit it so we've got the jeep jacked up on the front now and we're going to start with the front shocks now we've got these spacers and they're basically going to go into the top of the shock um, up there but to get that down I think what we're going to need to do is take off this control arm and then drop the whole shock, keep it all connected at the bottom here um, and then yeah drop the whole hub to bring the shock down with it and then we can access the top. So we've taken the airbox out of the top here just to get to the top of the strut bolts and we've actually undone them all and then we tried to drop the whole hub and get the strut out but it's just not budging. It looks like the drop link bar here connected to the anti-roll bar is stopping the whole hub from coming down. So we're going to get that off and see if it works and then hopefully we can get the whole strut out and get the spacer at the top there. Right, so we ended up getting that anti-roll bar drop link off and it still didn't get the shock down far enough. So we ended up getting the two drop links off down at the wishbone and that eventually allowed us to push it down far enough to get this spacer in there. So that's gonna be a 2.5 inch lift at the top there. So all we gotta do now is put it all back together and get it through to the top and bolt it back in. Right, so it's actually a new day working on the Jeep. We spent hours and hours yesterday trying to fit that spacer on top of the strut and we did manage to do it. However, we can't get the bottom end of the strut 
um, with the drop links to fit back into the wishbone. So I'm going to show you where we're at and where we're going to go from today. So let's take a look. So currently we have quite a few bits detached. So the track rod end is off, the sway bar link is off, the two drop links there are off. Where we're struggling with is at the bottom here. So these two drop links aren't going back into their hole here. What our next plan is, we're going to take off the axle nut here and try and bring the uh, the hub out actually um, because it's just completely too far out for those droplings to be fitting on there um, so yeah that's kind of our last resort apart from taking the whole wishbone out and disconnecting the axle so yeah we're going to give that a shot and see what happens this gun works Never pay me back my wages. I got friends who had babies with ladies who now they're hating. I got family who's mad at me because I always plan to see. But when the time comes around, never set a plan to me. Got exes in my texts causing me all kind of stresses. Cause I told her that I loved her, promised her a happy ending. I got friends that will take your chick, fuck up your relationship. Friends that will break your ribs, sneak in and take your shit. Some who sell food, some who blaze the eighth of it. Staying up for days and shit and getting up to craziness is just another day and whip my shit. I ain't ashamed of it. Gave me stuff to write about. Look at what I made of it. They told me that I made for this told me i could make it big like just keep writing tracks and make sure you put the patience into me okay so we finished up with the axle now and everything's back together all the components are back together and if i just show you the front from underneath you can see how much of a difference that's made if you look at the wishbone on the right side here and the wishbone there the tires in the way there but um looks a lot lower on the left now and then yeah we're going to crack on with the right hand side put it all together Okay, we finished off the right side now. Um, didn't think to film it as you already covered the left side, but let's just show you what we've done. So these are the new bump stops. So if we get any bigger tires, they'll be there to stop it from hitting any components. And as you can see further up there, we've got, this is the original top of the strut. And then we've got above it, that shiny metal bit, that's the spacer. So above this strut, uh, we had the battery box, battery and other little components that we just had to strip out. And we've got some shiny new bolts down there for these strut spacers. Uh, if we look at it from the front it is hanging down a fair bit lower than it was before on both sides now so we're going to try and get the wheels on and see what it looks like okay so that's the wheels back on to the car and we've lowered it it's fully off of jacks and everything uh, as you can see we've got the red bump stops in there and there's a whole load of clearance now it's completely lifted um didn't realize it's going to be that much but it's going to be good for uh, for off-roading definitely so yeah glad we got that done the wheel arch bumper is off at the moment, so it does look like there's even more of a gap, to be fair. But yeah, it's definitely going to help us out for off-roading and getting some big old tyres in there. So yeah, time to move on to the back of the car. We've got the back end jacked up and on axle stands there and there. We've currently undone the dampeners here. So it had a bolt up here at the top of the dampener and then one at the bottom here. We've just undone them, so hopefully this will pull out. There we go. That should just slide out that's it and then we'll get some shiny new ones so the next job is to get these bigger springs onto the back so at the moment these springs are decompressed like i said with it resting on the axle stands and these are going to take their place in there and as you can see it's a little bit higher so that height should be about two inches and that'll be the lifting of the rear once we get the shocks in as well so we've got these bushes as well not really too sure what these are for at the moment trying to figure out um but yeah we'll get around to that and maybe we'll see oops okay so we've got the two dampeners out now and the differential is just weighted on the trolley jack so we're going to let the trolley jack down hopefully the whole back end will come down we can fit the new springs in so all right let's see you ready So we've got a bit of room there now. Right, let's try and take these off now. There we go. And that's that one off. And that's the new one. So yeah, a bit of difference in that. Obviously this will be the top that curl bit. So 
Let's try and chuck it straight on and see what happens. All right, so we managed to get the spring in in the end. Um, basically, once we let the jack down a bit, we're able to get a jack up on the other side to tilt it over and bring this one down. We're going to go around to the other side, put the other spring in, and then get the dampeners in before it gets dark. So let's look. Okay, so we put the shock on there now and we're just putting the boot over the top there and everything's connected up. It's getting pretty dark now, so we're gonna finish up filming and we've still got the other side to do. Um, but yeah, it's all pretty much lifted now. I'm probably gonna show you guys what it looks like tomorrow, uh, lunchtime in the daytime. And then yeah, see how it goes, but yeah, that's all for tonight. Okay guys, so we managed to get everything finished off last night on the rear end for the lift kit. The springs were in tight and the shock absorbers were in tight as well. What we're going to do now is just lift up the back end again, take off the wheel and show you what I've done. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the components in there now. The car's looking a lot better with that lift on there, just as that subtle difference. Now, the only issue we've had, as I mentioned yesterday, we've got these, what we thought were bushings, that we didn't know where they went. They're actually bump stops, and they've got to be squeezed either through this spring, or we've got to take the spring out, and actually place them at the bottom of the spring here. Now, what we've got to do is drill from underneath here, drill all the way through, and then bolt this down from a bolt that goes underneath and, and slots in. Um, so we're probably going to leave that for another time. The kit didn't come with instructions, so we were quite unsure about what we were doing with this, so we left it out anyway. Um, but luckily, the guy that we bought it off sent us a message explaining what it was. But yeah, it's looking good. Right, so we've got the Jeep up on the curb just to get a little bit of lift on it, see what difference it has. Uh, we did this in the last video, so maybe I'll put a clip in of the old version before uh, it had the lift on it, but it is looking quite high now. Looking quite nice with that. Good that you can see the shocks in there and the springs working. Next thing to do is to check what sort of wheels or tyres we need that can fit on there and not rub anywhere. So, yeah, it's looking good. Getting there. Right, thanks everyone for watching this lift kit install. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're going to be taking this off-roading, hopefully in the next video or maybe the one after that. By the way, we're going to take it off-roading at some point. So yeah, stay posted. Peace. Before I get round to fitting the kit, I'm going to show you what other... Uh, what should I call them? Mods. I'm going to show you what other... Before I get round to fitting the lift kit video... No. Is he in it? No, no, no. Oh. No, I'm just chatting shit.